Please stop trading, bro. Do it for your family. Do it for your sanity. Let bots trade for you. Oh, I know you're not a coding guy. I get it. Me neither. But once the pain got so bad of trading, every single day you dive in, you say, hey, I'm gonna look at this ticker, this ticker, this ticker, this one gapped up, this one gapped down, this one's trending, this one's mean reverting. But still, for some reason, you just wanna chase the bars up and then you get scared on the bars down. I don't get it, dude, but I do know one thing is we have emotions because we're humans and that's beautiful. That allows you to have incredible moments with your family. Do things that you've always wanted to do. You're trading because you're trying to become financially free or you're trying to grow your wealth. Me too, dude. That's why I was trading. I'm ambitious. Thought it was an easy way to make money until you get into these charts and then you do it. Start using a little bit of leverage. You can make more money faster with leverage, bro. I could use like 2x leverage. I could use 3x. I could use 4x. I, damn, I could use 30x leverage, bro. That's wild. Why wouldn't I use 30x leverage? I just had a winning trade where I made 10% in 20 minutes. Why wouldn't I use 50x leverage? And instead of 10%, I would have made 500% in 20 minutes. Dude, duh. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I can't play with you right now. I can't play with you now. I'm sorry. I'm in a trade. I can't. I'm sorry. Charlie, it's going to be okay. I'll play with you later. Nah, we can't do date night tonight. Nah, I'm in a trade right now. I swear I'll close it. I'll close it. I'll close it. I'll be done real soon. Babe, we're leaving in 15 minutes. Timmy's got another show. Perfect. 15 minutes. This is great. Let me just get on the one minute real quick and just try to scalp something. I'm just going to scalp it. Let me go long here. I'm just going to go long. All right, perfect. 15 minutes is great. All right, I'm in. I got to get out in 10 minutes because I got to go to my son's show. It's time to go. Oh, I can't go right now. Can we, let's get 10 minutes. We got 10 more minutes. Oh, it's going against me. Oh, I need 10 more. He's graduating. This is his graduation show. Yo, stop trading, dude. There's always going to be another bar. The moments with your family, there's not always going to be more moments with your family. I know it's happened to you. I know. We never know. We never know when that loved one's gonna go. We don't. Oh my God. Rest in peace. Oh my God. To everybody, honestly, like, I know it happens like it hurts me so bad, but this is bigger than me. And I understand there's, there's worse scenarios everywhere. So, family moments are irreplaceable. Moments with your friends are irreplaceable. I get it. You're ambitious. I get it. You want to get the bag, financial freedom, whatever. I understand that. But are you going to go to Vegas and play the slots in order to become financially free? Hold up, honey. Kids, I got to go to Vegas for the day. Let me go. Uh, let me go. I got to get my slot machines. I got to hit my slot machines for the day. No, you're not going to do that, dude. I'm sorry. You're not. Have you ever asked yourself why when you go to a derivative exchange, especially why are there flashing lights? Why are these things flashing? Why are the bars green and red? Why is there even color to these bars? I hope you realize that you, you found the wrong game, the wrong game for you to spend your time on because at some point your emotions are going to take over and you're not going to follow your system. There are people that trade well for five, six, seven years. I can count at least five on my hand that have been trading and are in trading goats, greatest of all time, just to make sure you understand what that means. That this year blew up. This year. Why? Why did they blow up? They went to zero from millions of dollars to zero from everybody in the trading industry loving them and on their D saying they're the best trader ever to zero. Why? Because we're humans and we have emotions and we have biases that are built in from the time that our brains were so malleable. You can't even remember years one through seven. I know you don't remember much from back then, but your subconscious does. So please for your family, step away from the arena that you cannot win in as a human being, but you can still be a trader.
It's just got to be a different type of trader. What I'm about to tell you is my step-by-step -step procedure in order for you to step away from the charts and spend that time with your family because that's, that's what you need to be doing anyways. Your friends, your family, I know you want that time back, but staring at these charts, putting lines on them and trying to figure out how to trade by hand is not the way. Let me show you the way. If you want to keep trading, number one, just stop trading by hand. This is going to be hard, but in order to gain an edge in the market, you got to do hard things. You know that, dude. I don't have to tell you that. That goes for everything in life, right? If literally there's 20, I don't know. I don't know how many traders there are. Let's say there's 20 million traders out there. I would say 19, 19.9 million, million of them are clicking buttons saying buy or sell. So if there's 20 million traders and 19.9 million of them are clicking buttons to say buy or sell at whatever time, whatever symbol, whatever, whatever, whatever. If there's 19.9 million out of 20 million traders clicking buy or sell, and you know you're supposed to do what the crowd's not doing, it's the most obvious thing ever be never click buy or sell again. That's where it starts. Okay. Come on, come on. You still, you still with me? This is coming from love because I don't want you to do what I did, which was spend multiple years trading these charts, chasing the bars up and getting scared on the bars down. The procedure is simple. The process is hard, but if you do the things that others won't do, you'll have an edge that others will never be able to even fathom. Most people have left by now. Now it's just me and you. This is how to automate your trading. I'm sure you've read it already. I'm sure you've looked at all my tickers on my trading view. After I explain this, you're not going to really see the charts on here much more because I don't, I don't buy into the machine they have. I'm sorry. I understand that world very well. And I understand the only way to make money in a casino is to beat the casino. Sure. You got 0.1% of people that really believe they have an edge in a casino, but I'll let them, I'll let them buy. But the same thing with trading, maybe even if they do have find some edge in the casino, that's like 0.1% of people, you know, 99% of people fail in trading. So why you're so smart and so ambitious. Look around at your friends and your family members. None of them are doing the things that you're doing, dude. They never have. They don't understand what you're, why you're trading. They think you're gambling and all of the 20 other things you've done in your lifetime. They're all, you're always different. You're different. You're one stop. Your most valuable time on the slot machine. You're too smart for that. You're too smart, bro. It is what it is. My name is Moondev. Every single day, I show how to automate your trading here. I stream it. I share it. I'm vulnerable up here. Like this is, I, I go to places that I've never been. I work on algorithms that I cannot even fathom. But by the end of the stream, we figure it out. And I show it all here because I want to show you that I'm just a regular dude like you. I did not go to school for this stuff. I did not go to some fancy college or anything like that. I did not learn how to code in school. I learned three and a half years ago. You're not late. And I'll show you the way every single day. This is how you automate your trading just to show you how to get more time with your friends and your family. This is the process here. You research trading strategies instead of trading, remove the trading out of your day, get those hours back. And now you're never going to have to be like, Oh babe, I need 10 more minutes or no, Timmy, I, I can't go right now. You know, you'll never need those 10 more minutes because you'll spend this time. They used to trade on this process, spending that time researching trading strategies, research from there's no new strategies out there. Everything is a piece of something that's in the, the past end of the day. Everybody's strategy is a morph of somebody else's strategy. All the secrets are out on the internet. So spend time researching those strategies that are written in papers, talked about in books, videos on YouTube, come up with a list of those strategies and back test them. Back testing is the process of feeding in data to a piece of code. Yes. You have to learn how to code. I wasn't a coder either, but. I was a trader that needed to build some edge that I could rely on for the rest of my life because trading is not going anywhere. 
So you got two options. Do I want to be a trader, a hand trader and keep losing time with my family and money from my bank account? Or do I want to spend that time researching trading strategies, back testing those strategies to see if they work in the past. And then if they work in the past, put that down there, then implement it into a bot with small size. There's going to be challenges throughout all of this process. There's going to be places you get hung up on, but it's the best game in the world. If you're a gamer, you're going to love, love, love coding. Place this time staring at the screen, trying to make decisions, wasting your life, spending weeks, months, if not years, just to break even. Place this with coding. All right, you have the process. I gave you the, the solution. Follow this, B every single day. I'm about to blow your mind. Don't, don't worry though. Don't let this scare you. I'm about to dive into some of my current projects here. One of my current projects is if you, if you're new here, this is going to be too deep. So I don't want this to scare you off, but just know this comes from love. And I'm only showing you this stuff because nobody showed me when I was trying to learn it. I'm using genetic algorithms. I know I'm sorry to nerd overload you by even saying that genetic algorithms are kind of like a, a mating process in plants or animals or people. Parents have two sets of or different chromosomes or thousands of chromosomes and they mate together to make you. Okay. I'm doing the same thing, but for trading strategies. So like I said, go ahead, research back test. Well, I've already done the research and back test process so many times that I have a a war chest of back-tested strategies just waiting to be implemented into bots. But what I'm doing is I'm putting them through this mating process in order to come up with new ideas. So this might hurt your head, but if you want to get started, just go to my YouTube. It's all free. It's all free. Go to the oldest video. It's about, I don't know, two and a half years ago. I don't know. And I just, I documented the entire process. So go learn at me if you want to do this for 100% free. If you're the type of person that wants to get like all the detailed information and concise short videos, these videos are up to five hours long, three hours long, one hour long, one hour, one hour, one hour. So, you know, if you want the, the fast path to get caught up to speed with me real quick. So these streams from here on out make sense to you, then go ahead and just jump in the boot camp. The boot camp is just $69, but it's everything that you're asking yourself right now. I'm answering all of it. I show you exactly from step by step how to automate your trading. I don't care if you join this or not. If you do, you become part of the family, but it's all on YouTube as well. So either route works, but let's dive into our genetic algorithms here. So let's go ahead and run this one. This is a genetic algorithm that's combining three different trading strategies in order to essentially come up with the best parameters. This is another one here. You can see I have a sniper bot down in the bottom, right? Everybody is on Solana right now. Solana is a blockchain that um, is launching a bunch of meme coins. So everybody's buying meme coins there. These are the huge, the massive liquidations. You can see somebody got liquid for 800,000. These are the big ones. These are the big, huge orders. You can see some huge orders, like a $10 million order coming in. And um, these are the smaller orders. Here is, this is transcribing everything. So I have notes on said in these videos and I can go back and figure that out very quickly at any time. This is another genetic algorithm here. All this stuff can be built only if you learn how to code. Coding is not harder than learning anything else. And I'll show you exactly how to do that here on this channel and also in the boot camp. I want to spend a little bit of time here going through and seeing another one of my tools. I'm going to use it because I haven't done that yet today. And every single day I jump on here live and I show every single step of the way of the alpha I'm chasing. So this is my sniper bot right here on the right side, but on the left side, we're scanning through all the new launches for the day. I do this once a day because I want to make sure to always stay up to date on, on what's happening in the market with the new launches on Solana and also the top volume tokens. So we store all this data here and also here 
I think this is aired out though, so I'll come back to it a little bit later. My sniper looks to be aired out, so it needs to do the scan again later. So that's okay because we're working on our genetic algorithms anyways. Don't let this scare you. I can hold your hand through step by step here on my YouTube channel. So please don't let this scare you. Let it inspire you, if anything. I'll make sure for the coders out there, I'll make sure that you get all of the code by the end of this. Whatever we work on, I'll make sure you have access to all of it. I'm not going to put it on GitHub, but I'll make sure that you see it on the video. So I then went ahead. If you're essentially, we're working with the gen genetic algorithms that are I kind of explained them. They're like mating and mutating in order to make new algorithms. And then I asked a question or yeah, I did. I said, you mentioned here that we can test a bunch of different algorithms for evolutionary algos to find better strategies than GAs. Please do so and output three new scripts based on the one below and walk me through how the evolutionary algos you implemented and then give me all the code. So essentially when I was going through this, I was looking at our code that does this out here. Where is it? It's this right here. I've been looking through this code and essentially GPT hinted me, tipped me off on uh, evolutionary algos as well. So I want to look into that actually scroll through this see if there's any winners here most of them are going to be trash but that's okay i'm the trash man no winners in this one turn zero i'm still learning how to use these gen genetic algorithms as well so any ideas that you have please do share them a couple with 400 percent return but nothing that's out of the norm i've been storing a lot of these in a different sheet here and you can see like one created a 5,000 return percent return. One was 4,000 still a little skeptical as you should always be skeptical, but day two, we're learning a lot here. So sure. Let's explore three different evolutionary algorithms, differential evolution, swarm optimization and simulated annealing. I will modify the existing genetic algorithm framework to use these models and provide the complete scripts for each differential evolution DE is an optimization algorithm that uses vector differences for per per two perturbing the population perturbing the population vectors. It is known for its simplicity and effectiveness in handling continuous optimization problems. Let's go ahead and say differential model here and I'll make sure you see all this code dog. I promise if I don't, please let me know if I want to make sure every time differential evolution, please keep me on that. I want to make sure to show you all the code. Okay. Differential evolution. Perfect. So let's read through it up here again, just to make sure it's clear. Oh, but this doesn't have all the code B as you can see, some of the code is missing from the one you sent. Oh, I should just hit continue. Huh? I think I have something up B. Oh my God. Who is this? Get out of here. So it just didn't complete that one piece of code we were about to use for the evolutionary, whatever. Yo, this is a little buggy. This is a desktop app. So it is what it is. Send these little screenshots to send these little vid snippets to uh, open AI so they can fix it. It's day two though, so I'm happy that they made it for us. I'm grateful. I'm grateful at AFB because I like it so far. It's pretty, um, it should make it a little taller maybe. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and continue this here. See what it do do, Barry. Same thing, huh? I'll try the first option. Please finish this code. You were working. Start. Let's see if she obeys this because she's been acting up with the whole like, I'm just going to give you all the code. I know how much already be working lately. She doesn't do that anymore. It's super weird. I told her to start at the bottom of the code with the BT equal back, but that's okay. Hey, bro, this is where you can see all the code, by the way. Look at it. Take your screenshots. This is your time to shine, dog. You got that? All right, I'm going to scroll down. We're defining the three strategies. Good. Bringing in the code or the data. We're using a hundred weeks of Solana data. Access one, two, and three. Okay. Return. 
Okay, fitness function, okay, creator dot register individual and define so we population evaluate mate mutate so we're evaluating the scores and then we're mating remember this is like uh de algorithm so differential evolution initialize de algorithm okay so yeah it's just like nature okay so this is the de algorithm run differential evolution and g n gen equals 10 cxp equals 0 0.5 mute point two this all looks pretty gucci to me it's some sort of algorithm here and it's the differential evolution dang ai has really made this easy for the small guy haven't they small guy to compete with the big boys the big boys are hiding all the secrets i'm about to go find those secrets b i'm about to show all the secrets here every single day because those secrets are still secret to me too, dude. Well, at least some of them are. And I'm just gonna keep sharing it every day. So I'm sorry, dude. It is what it is. I'm coming at everybody's neck. So if you wanna come with me, let's do it, dude. If not, that's cool. All right, so I don't know if you saw that here, but it gave us what we needed here. I just can't copy it until it's done. So particle swarm optimization. Okay, so we have three different um things being done here i'm just gonna start writing this out myself because you know she about to take forever back passing the data data the ema yep. ema cash yup 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 i want exactly what she said that's what we wanted okay so let's go ahead and get this explanation of Oh, we got it now. Okay, cool. Explanation of differential evolution here. Put it up here for later. Okay. Now, one thing I just noticed here is there's no CXP. So I probably just missed the import or something to and mute P. So it looks like there's just a couple errors. Population is underlined and equals population. Best individuals in the differential evolution model is not defined when uh, making the best in individual variable so that's the first one here what is this one i think that, okay so this is the particle swarm here let's get the particle swarm over here let's say part particle swarm op Optimization. Dot py. Paste this one in there. How many strats are there? Well, yeah, there's still three strats, dog. The dog. So what's that mean? And also, no, I don't see anything wrong with this one. I need to make this a little smaller. Sorry, bro. Looks Gucci. But the only thing is, is it doesn't show the other, the other ones. So here, I think we're doing all this, right? I don't see why we want it. Yeah, yeah, we got to run all the back to us, B. So you see, I use a high commission because I'm a thug. Honestly, it would change everything if I didn't use double what you actually pay. But I try to show the worst of the worst. See what's going on over here in the uh, crypto land. I think it's just about the same thing as when we left it. And that's how it usually is, my dude. You can learn everything on my YouTube. It's free. You can go to the oldest video and just scroll down. I have like a thousand videos. Well, actually more, 9,000 videos. Everything I've done here, I've shown it all on YouTube. If you need me to hold your hand, you can always click this link right here. I'll go trade camp. And this is where I show you how to do all this step by step. How to get up to speed with me and how to automate your trading so you can remove all the emotions, spend more time with your friends and family. That's what life's about, right? So instead of looking at the charts all day and missing moments with with them learn how to automate your trading if you want to be a trader do not trade by hand that's all it's your choice to be a trader or not but this is a better way to do it so you don't need to join the boot camp you don't need to buy anything from me ever and if you do you know it's backed by a hundred percent money back guarantee always so if you join the boot camp it's a hundred percent money back guarantee forever and um it's all free on youtube as well so 
videos in the boot camp are short, concise, all the answers essentially on YouTube. It's, you know, long videos of me kind of struggling through bugs because I'm not a magician or anything. All this stuff is really hard work and I just figured it out on my YouTube channel. So those who can't afford to take the fast pass, then you can join the boot camp or they have a place to do it. If, if you can't afford it, you got this. And if you can't afford it, it's $69. So the choice is yours, but either way, I am running viciously towards my goals every single day. So I'm going to keep doing that and, um, let's get this code back open. I want to read about this differential model now. So explanation of the differential evolution algorithm initialization, the creator and toolbox are initialized to define the structure and behavior of individuals. The create and toolbox, the fitness function evaluates the performance of a strategy based on annual returns. It's the fitness function here. The DE algorithm, where are you at? It's right here. The DE algorithm function iterates through generations. In each generation, individual's fitness is evaluated. The best individuals are selected and undergo crossover and mutation to produce the next generation. The process continues for a specified number of generations. The best parameters found by the DE algorithm are used to configure the trading strategies. The strategies are then back tested with these parameters. So next they sent us this particle swarm optimization it's inspired by the social behavior of birds. Interesting. Each particle in the swarm represents a potential solution and particles adjust their positions based on their own experiences and those of their neighbors. Interessante. I love that we're doing bio now because others aren't going to do this. The further, more, more spacing we can get from the people that are just trading by hand and being lazy and just gambling every day, the better. Because remember, if there's 20 million traders, 19.9 .9 million of them are doing the buy and sell with their freaking finger. They about to start riding their horses to work too. Population in the differential evolution. Here's the corrected version of the differential evolution, ensuring that it's there. Okay. Interesting. Like, okay. I like it. Honestly, maybe it's because my notes say always output the full code. Yeah, that's probably it. I probably put in my memory to always output the full code. I thought it was just this. Your boys are getting better. Article swarm. See population is not in there. And all they did was put toolbox population n equals 20. And that's actually right here too. I'm going to do it this way because I don't want to do it the other way. I just want to do it my own way. All right. Chat GPT, whatever you want to call yourself. Worst name ever. No offense, but kind of trash name. Nerdiest name in the world. Literally the nerdiest name in the world you could ever pick for anything. Sorry. Sorry. Not sorry, Charlie. All right. Let's go ahead here and let's run this and see if it works. I don't think it's going to work right off the bat, but Oh, starting generation one fitness calculation. Okay. We see our fitness calculations are coming out differently this time. This is dope. So we're using a different model now. So yesterday we were using a genetic algorithm. Um, so are these different types of genetic rhythms or how do I refer to the differences from our initial genetic I'll go to these I code live and talk about what I'm doing but I'm a peanut brain please explain like I'm 12. Yes, because I feel like my reading level and comprehension level of anything is like 12. But that's chill because you're probably smarter than me. And if I can do this dog, then you're just lazy if you can't do it too. No offense. Flash, you're welcome. It's a hard subject. It's hard to like let the ego down and be like, yo, maybe I'm not going to figure this trading stuff out by hand. You are going to figure the trading stuff out. It's just a vehicle. So sure, let's break it down and make it simple. Understand di different evolutionary algorithms, genetic algorithm. Okay, they're all funder, fall under evolutionary algorithms. Got it. Concept, think of a genetic algorithm as the process of evolution in nature. We start with a popu uh, population of potential solutions, individuals, and 
these individuals evolve over time the process each generation we select the best solutions based on fitness mix their genes crossover and introduce some random changes mutation to create new solutions over many generations the solutions improve there's a little evolutionary algorithm doing over a differential evolution doing over here so okay so genetic algorithms is what we did yesterday and the day before sweet so we're mobbing now we're doing differential evolution right here. So differential evolution, which is what we're working on right now, the concept, this is another form of evolutionary algorithm, similar to GAs. So now I understand it. Uh, these are all evolutionary algorithms and we start with genetic algorithms. Okay. So this is, which is differential evolution. This is another form of evolutionary algorithm similar to GAs, but it focuses on using the differences between individuals to create new solutions process instead of just mixing genes randomly de which is differential evolution uses the difference between the three randomly chosen individuals to create a new individual this approach can help find better solutions more efficiently well we'll see i mean the other ones haven't been amazing to be honest yes there are some amazing returns here but they're sketch af 99.9 .9 exposure time Yes, the returns 4,000, whatever, but let's see. Okay, this one's a zero ball straight off the bat. This one has a profit factor. This one has only 10 trades. It's 443, which is higher than buy and hold, but again, it's 99.93. And this one went to zero. So, so far, that's not a huge improvement yet, but again, we haven't even scratched the surface with these differentials. Um, we right now, I think this one's based on ROI. Let's see here. And I said, I would show you all the code. So let me make sure you have all the code here. I'm going to sc scroll through just fast because we got time. We ain't got time. We got mad time actually. Okay. Here's all the code. Screenshot one, one, two, three. Screenshot two, one, two, three. Screenshot four, one, two, three. I should go slower for those that are live. Huh? I'll do it again. Anyways, this one's based on return percentage. And um, we tried multiple things yesterday. So we tried sharp plus low drawdown, sharp plus Sortino, sharp plus low exposure, sharp Sortino plus low drawdown, Sortino expectancy, exposure time. I'm getting a lot of the similar results, but they're the same three strategies. So maybe that's why. It's just using like, you know, at the end of the day, I feel like these are almost just randomizing things, introducing some new variables. Uh, doing some different algorithms, but you're starting from the same point of origin. So I don't know. I, I want to get all of the models done. That's how I want to do it. I want to get all models done. I want to get all the models explored, understand them all, um, understand what's going on. I'm still like only kind of understanding things. So I want to do all that. I want to get all the models out here. Uh, and we'll have this big folder of models. And then uh, what I, if you want, I mean, I mean, this is a big ask, but um, any idea, Ideas you have, you're where I'm at. We're, we're on the same spot. Ideas you have, um, everything in machine learning is feature engineering. It all comes down to uh, the ideas that we have and that we put into these models because everybody has access to the same code. Remember, anytime somebody has access, everybody has access to TA Lib. Everybody has access to Pandas TA. Everybody has access to all of these TensorFlow models. Everybody has access to Scikit-Learn all this stuff, right? So in my opinion, and my opinion was formed off of studies of like people that actually know this stuff. Um, it's all feature engineering. It's just all feature engineering. So that means it's all ideas, but we're good at ideas. So if you have those ideas, just keep throwing them in the chat. And then I'm going to build this readme here. And we have a nice list of ideas so far to attack. But right now I'm kind of just still like, working with GPT, seeing where it takes me, using keywords that I see and ideas to build new algos. And we just ran this new one. So we've successfully um, done something new today, which is always nice. Now I want to go ahead and try this particle swarm one, which is another type of algo. And we'll read about it while it runs. Let's make sure it gets running though. Because these take a little bit of time. A little bit of time. Okay, let's run it again. Get that error. Conda, okay. Where are we're at particle swarm? We haven't read about it yet. I get the error for the below code. Let's see what she has to say. 
She knows everything. I hope so, at least. Just got to massage her. Got to be kind to her. Let's fix the issue with the particle swarm implementation. Ensure everything works correctly. Additionally, I'll explain the differences between the algorithms and how they fit into the broader category of evolutionary algorithms. Fixing the PSO implementation, the error occurred because tools to update particle is not a standard deep function. We'll define our own update function for the particles. Here's how we can proceed. Check some ideas from the chat if you got them. Derek's about to buy a Mac. You're welcome, Apple. That's a good idea. I think we chatted about a little bit yesterday, but I'm going to keep writing it down because I, I agree. I think that's a, a big thing. Train a model to predict uh, if we are about to go. Well, all two things. One, if about to trend up or down sideways. And also one to interpret what market we in. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Is that it though? I feel like that's not it. Keep going. She outputted some stuff, but maybe that is it. No, it's not because look, there's an open thing here. Run it on live chart every minute, every 10 minutes. Reevaluate. I'm not getting down there. Sorry, B. Um, worm, which I think is FS trend. Uh, so are any of these mutations, including bits and pieces from each separate strategy? We had an EMA cross two handles back, and now the signal is crossing the MACD, or is this testing just the three strategies separately? Beats me, bro. Beats me, but that's a good question. I think it's uh, the way I was explained is it is the um, the first one you said. It's taking bits and pieces, but ask GBT. Let's do it. I'm gonna ask GBT that question. Thank you, Big T seven 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 Jane seven seven seven. Josh, what up, bro? Derek says bootcamp equals the cheat code. The bootcamp is just a consolidated place. Look at somebody. I know that's a hand trader. 420k this mofo's high and trading by hand on a thursday no sorry friday and just got wrecked because he went short on ethereum and the weird thing about it is he you can tell he was not short here i mean he could have been short here he could have been short here but i doubt it i because he got licked right here. So I, I'm assuming he saw, oh, this is going to fall off a cliff. Let me blaze and then uh, put a bet down for 420K. <laughs> That's literally what he did, though. I don't make the rules. I'm just reading what happened. It says 420K. He got licked right here. If you were in right here, you would have taken profit right there. He's using mad leverage. I don't know. This is, I'm making up stories now, but I can make up stories from the data. Boy is crazy. Stay off the charts, B. Stay off the charts. Let's see if there's some more good uh, ideas up in here. Yo, you should look into PPO learning in addition to the GA method. Q Pro, thank you. I, f I think that's like private policies or something. Policies, It's uh, it would make sense to what you're talking about, honestly, because we got to train like yeah, an agent to a policy and then, um, yeah. See, I learned all this stuff so early. I learned everything I could about machine learning, but I, I learned it before I really, I learned it to learn to code essentially. And I, I was just like, a lot of it was over me. So I think I'm just going to like look at my notes and stuff now that we're getting back deeper into it. Um, but you know, I've done a lot of like price prediction with machine learning and that, that's not it. B. It might be, it might be, I don't want to stop you from it. I don't want to stop you from it. I don't think it's a, I think there's great other ways too, but I'm also this is biased because everybody says that. So, oh, that think just said the best gen. Oh, the thing just said the best gen three score to 55, but I saw something was like 122. So your fitness scoring is the annual return on 10 K and no other aspects like the drawdown. Yeah, it's just ROI. 
What's up, bro? Punchy said, what up, dude? How are you? He said he's been grinding since 4 came out. That's awesome, bro. You got me on the neural networks? Dope, dog. It's so dope how, like, that stuff is actually, like, comprehensible now. But you just have to ask GBT. Ask GBT, and they'll tell you everything. It doesn't make sense a lot, but read it 84 times, and then maybe. Good to see you, though. Nice equity forecasting. Mm. Says he's hoping to get it up on a VPS so I can train more efficiently. Anybody got the plug for best stock market data? Interactive brokers if you're looking live data. And then um, Data Bento or um, Polygon. TA Lib couldn't do your double period smooth hiking. I actually had to code it myself. Yo, so you coded the back tester? That's amazing, bro. If you have your own back tester, that is the most craziest thing ever. And you can complete the RBI process in the cloud now. So I was trying to build a back tester as well. I just actually just got distracted, I suppose. Essentially. <laughs> Dang it. It's the truth though. I got distracted by this stuff. It's a hard thing, man. That's the hardest thing. That's the hardest thing about this game. There's so much opportunity out there. Glad you got it though. Let me check that out right now, dude. I'm gonna ask that question. So, I, all right, let me get this code in there first. Yeah. All right. Thank you for bringing that up though, Trent, because you know, this is brand new to me. Particle swarm. Are we doing particle swarm? Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna copy all this code over because that's all I do over here is copy code. Just a co code copying, bro. I couldn't imagine writing all that code out. That would take me all year. Literally take me all year. Uh, that'd be crazy. Be, be really insane. Literally can't copy. It's the hardest part of the game of copying and pasting. It's hard to copy this code from the desktop app. It's kind of trash. No offense. What happened here? Looks pretty Gucci to me. Maybe these are like symbols. Weird. It's a weird little quirkity quirk here. Quirk, quirk. So, so fly. Okay. Um, let's see if we can run this first. Nice. Okay. So this is working again. So let's get back to a uh, point question. I don't know. But that mofo is smarter than me, so I'm putting his question in here, and then I learn at high speed. Oh, buddy, buddy, buddy. Individual, okay. Fudge. Can't go there yet. I'll put the prompt at the bottom here. Just output the code that needs to be fixed. Not all the code, please. I think I must have that on my thing like on my rules or something, like my memory. Uh, you can add that now. I probably did that because I was hot one day and I was just like, yo, it's always send me the code B, but I actually don't want that. I'm just looking through my GPT stuff here. Yo, I'm saying show me my memory. Doesn't say anything different. So line 90, we had the air. Okay, uh, differential evolution, particle swarm. Line 90, we had the air. It's right here. I see what they're doing here. But they were working before. Oh, I see what's going on. Yeah. I'm just going to type that code in because she acting like she old as F. She taught. Let the granny sleep. Let the boys eat. Let the boys eat. Let the granny sleep. Let the boys eat. Yeah, you a grandma too, dude. If you're too scared to learn how to code, bro, I was scared too, bro. If you're going to keep trading by hand, bro. And lose money. If you're winning money, like I'm not talking to you, but if you're losing money and you continue to do the some, same thing over and over again, dude, you a granny too. If you're not going to learn how to code, at least. Not bad to be a granny. I love my granny. All right. Okay. Okay. Return zero. So it shouldn't go there anymore if it's a length is not 10. Okay. Boom. So length of individual. Boom. It's individual. It's just unpacking that dude. Boom. I think we're Gucci now. Let's run it. I really want to get to that question Trent had. Let's go ahead and see if that's time. It's the time. He, let's pause her. Right? No, maybe not. Maybe I shouldn't. Yeah, yeah I'm going to wait. Oh, I can ask somebody else. Though. Somebody smarter. Someone's so much smarter. Space off ROI. Oh, baby boy. 188. We got a new error. Okay, 188 is. Let's look at it. 188. Mac D slow. Okay. Toolbox actually 168. Uh, can't read. 168 here. Okay. Ant has no length. That can't be it. Assert. Line 188. And set values. Base. Okay. 
Rebel Swarm 168 in this algorithm. 68. That's where we are. Okay. It's right here. And, um, okay. So I think this is a, another good one for somebody smarter than me to do. So I'm just going to do that, dude. I wonder if it changed this stuff. Cause maybe it fixed it. I just didn't update it. You know, got to chill V. got to chill. I got to wait. This is going slower than a mofo though. Slower than a mofo. I want to see if we can figure out how that fixes it. Let me go ahead and answer a couple questions here or comments, concerns, ideas. You got ideas thrown in the chat, P. What up now? NY, New York, Howard. I made a couple pennies, me too, dude. Trent said he built a, his, a custom back tester. That's dope. Merge the one minute onto the one hour data to get forming candles, etc. Interesting. I like where you're going, bro. Sounds like separation to me. That's all we need. A little bit of separation. Got to do what others won't do. I'm literally sitting here waiting for this noob tube to spit out this code because it's, hey, they got to fix this B. Let me go ahead and ask that question to Lux. Lux, where you at Lux? Differential algorithms. This is the code. Luxy, we need you right now. We're calling you in the game. Get in the game, Lux. In the provided code, this is answering your question, Trent. So the question is, so... Are any of these mutations, including bits and pieces of each of the strategies? We had a three EMA candle, two candles back, and now the signals is crossing the MACD, or is it just testing, testing just the three strategies separately with BT1 run, BT2 run, BT3 run, et cetera. In the private code, the three trading strategies, three EMA, three EMA are being tested separately, each with their own distinct set of parameters and logic for entering and exiting trades. The BT1, BT2, BT3 calls execute backtest for each respective strategy using the parameters specified by the current individual in the population. This explains the strategies. Each strategy operates independently within its own instance of a backtest. When you run the genetic algorithm or differential evolution, these strategies are not mixed or combined during the individual backtest. The fitness function evaluates how well each strategy performs with a set of given parameters and typically averages their performance metrics to assign a score to the individual. However, the genetic algorithm does combine traits from different individuals over iterations via crossover and mutation operations, but it does so at the parameter level not at the strategy logic level. This means the new individuals in the population may end up with a mix of parameters, values borrowed from different parent individuals, but the strategy logic that those parameters applies does not change. If you want to create a new strategy that combines elements of the three existing strategies, you would need to explicitly define a new strategy class that includes the combined logic you're interested in. This might involve, or for example, taking trade signals that are agreed upon by multiple strategies or using one strategy to filter the signals of another. Such a combined strategy could then be tested in the same way as the other individual strategies using backtesting and optimization techniques to determine its efficacy. It is also worth noting that when employing genetic algorithms, it's vital to ensure the strategies and their parameters are compatible with such a com combination or real approach as <laughs> not all strategy elements may work well together or may require careful tuning. Still a little confused. So say there are 12 indicators throughout the three strategies do they get mixed and matched to make a fourth through n amount of strategies no it doesn't sound like it but or how is this different how does this differ from the optimization on backtesting.py yeah i'm just curious about those things because i we might have just made an optimizer and that's fine because I feel like we're on to something. We just got to go deeper. But, you know, I want to know, like, what are we doing? 
What are we actually doing here? Let's clarify how genetic algorithms work in the context of your trading strategies and how this is different from simple optimization as might be performed by backtesting libraries like backtesting.py. Genetic algorithms and your strategies. In genetic algorithms, you have a population of individuals where each individual represents a potential solution to the problem at hand. In your case, an individual is a set of parameters, which are genes that define how the trading strategies behave. Genetic algorithm does not inherently mix and match parts of your strategy logic, like different indicators or decision rules from the three. So the genetic algorithm does not inherently mix and match parts of your trading strategy logic, like different indicators or decision rules from three EMA. Instead, it combines and mutates the parameters of these strategies. For example, crossover. If you have two individuals, one with a fast EMA of five from three EMA and the other with an EMA of 10 days, a crossover might produce an offspring that inherits the five day parameter or a new value created from the crossover of both parent values. A crossover might produce an offspring that inherits the five day parameter or a new value created from the crossover of both parent values. So seven, whoop de doo be mutation. A mutation might, might alter the value of one of the parameters slightly, say changing the fast EMA from five to six days. So this is a lot like the optimization, honestly, so far, I want to write down my notes here. I know it said it's different, but right now this feels a lot like optimization, even, uh, so for example, our, uh, ROI dot PY, if we ask the prompt below, below, it says it doesn't mix and match indicators to make new ones more. So it will see an EMA eight, nine and, and mate it with an EMA 18 to make a EMA 13, not exciting, but the concept is there. We just have to figure out to make a bigger mutation. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, but we're almost there. I can feel it. I can feel it. I can see it. I can see it. I can feel it. Just gotta keep going. Okay. So, so each of the strategies is tested separately in its own back test during the fitness evaluation, the GA operates by adjusting these strategies, input parameters, looking for the best combination that maximizes performance according to the fitness function, highest annual return, best sharp ratio. Optimization and backtesting. Backtesting.py library also adjusts strategy parameters, but they might do so in a more linear or grid search fashion. This means the library might test all possible combinations of parameters within a predefined range one by one looking for the set that performs the according the best according to some criteria for example you might instruct backtesting.py to test the three ema strategy with fast ema values ranging from 5 to 11. it will test each within the range against the back test one after the other and evaluate the performance so that that's different but like in this case you're going to collide on the same stuff, right? It's almost like the genetic algorithm is a little more random. Backtesting.py is testing all of them. I don't know. Differences between GAs and backtesting.py optimization. The key differences between using GAs and a library like backtesting.py for optimization are search methodology. GAs use operations inspired by biological evolution, selection, crossover, mutation to explore the parameter space. They are good for exploring large, complex parameter spaces and potentially escaping local optima. A simple optimization routine may just try every possible combination systematically, brute force, speed and efficiency. 
GAs might find good solutions faster than grid search since they do not need to try every combination of parameters, especially when the parameter space is large. So maybe, yeah, increase parameters. I don't know. I really don't know. But again, I know nothing ever. So I learn things. I learn and be speed and efficiency GAs. Okay. But, um, global versus local optima. GAs have a better chance of finding a global optima. Uh, what is this? Teach me more about this by using a heuristic based search in contrast, grid searches or other exhaustive methods may settle on local optima, especially if the parameter space is not well sampled combination GAs in your case are combining parameters like length of EMAs, MACD settings not indicators or strategy logic. If you wish to combine different strategy logics into one, you would need to create a composite strategy that incorporates all the desired elements from each and then perhaps optimize or evolve its parameters. I feel like that's where I'm trying to go. I don't know though. I mean, yeah, I do know that we got that. In practical turn, genetic algorithms give you a way to efficiently explore parameter combinations that you might not have considered. Okay. Or that would be computationally infeasible to test exhaustively. However, it's important to remember that GAs can be sensitive to the definition of the fitness function choice of GA parameters, like mutation rates and require careful interpretation of results to avoid overfitting to historical data. Global Optima is the context of optimization problems refer to the best global Optima in the context of optimization problems refer to the best popular possible solution across the entire solution space. Okay. Yeah. 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 In mathematical terms, an optimized problem often focuses on finding the maximum or minimum value of a function. The global optimum is the highest point maximum or the lowest point minimum on the functions graph global versus local when optimizing the aim is to find the most extreme value depending on whether you're maximizing or minimizing of your objective function which represents your problem however objective functions can be complex with multiple peaks and valleys global optimum this is the absolute best solution over all possible solutions for a maximization problem, it's the highest peak. For minimization, the deepest valley. The local optimum, these are points in the solution space that are better than their immediate neighbors, but not necessarily the best overall. A maximization problem might have many high points, but not all the highest. Okay, that makes sense. So global is the absolute best. Local is the, the local best. All right. So a lot, a lot of reading there for, um, a simple question. I mean, I guess it was, they go deep, they go deep, B. they go deep. We go deep. Let's go. So let's change this fitness function. And luckily I've got such a great memory. I know exactly what we're doing still. All right, let's go ahead and delete that. And then here we need to change our fitness function. Cause we have that little error there and I'm not sure if this is going to change it. I think that it may, we'll see. And then we already did this, did we? No. Toolbox.register particle. It's this one, yeah? All right, let's, let's run it back and see what we got. Here we go, generation one. This is a particle swarm optimization, which is another, another algorithm. Oh, so it found nothing here. So something broke. I think it was that return thing, but all right, those were all trash, but for some reason it never went into the second generation or Curious. Just learning this stuff, so you know it's gonna take some time for me to fully grasp it, but someday I will. For some reason, divisual for the, for the generation after. Below is my code. Uh so Trent says, I think this approach might get you there faster, possibly. However, the brute force testing of all the parameters within ranges you assign seems more complete. I was hoping that this would be able to find new insights by entries and exits. Me too, bro. Me too. My K or Doug says you need to find one strategy you want to trade in the up 
trend, one in the downtrend, and one in consolidation. You should be looking for duds on repeat for the last three days. There's like four of us here, bro. <laughs> uh, I thank you for keep hearing that in, but like I heard you loud and clear. I wrote, wrote it down like 14 times, <laughs> but I like it because I know I be repeating myself all day long. NYJ says, well, my brain is fried. Snack time. You came so far. Keep going. Thank you, bro. Trent says, I think if you are testing something more complicated than 2EMA crossover, which probably only has a fast, fast EMA range, 1 to 200, has 40,000 permutations. And if you had 7 EMAs and were crossing like a rainbow EMA, calculator didn't go that high, then genetic thing might be higher. I think Doug's starting to troll me, honestly, because he's been here the whole time. He knows exactly what I'm doing. Unless you haven't been paying attention in class, we've been using the same data set the entire time. So no, I haven't got to the uh, breaking up of time frames, the thing that, that you mentioned a few times. A few times, but I'm only using one time frame for now. I'm just trying to find my footing eventually, essentially. Figure out what I'm even working on here. It seems there are a few issues with the particle swarm optimization. Let me address them. Here, I'm going to say continue. Well, I'm say continue. Initialization of particles. Updating particles. Fitness calculation. I'm going to paste in this new code here. I want to see if it can do the second and third generation. This? I think it's self. It's an interesting little F up they have. All right, sick. So this is running now, and this is our particle swarm optimizations. 